<laughs> oh, man. Does anyone take uh, Uber or Lyft here tonight? Anybody take Uber or Lyft here? No. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, the Laugh Factory had a mayor. Uh, no, none of us believe in apps. Uh, here's the thing about Uber and Lyft. I, you know, I'm not a big fan. I like cabs still, you know, like a New York cab. I like a New York cab. Uber and Lyft is still kind of weird to me because it's a cab, but it's not. You don't know the dude, but he's in your phone for some reason. But the simple life hacks you can do to make yourself feel comfortable in these cars, you know this in the Lyft app, you can change your name to whatever you want. You don't have to go by a government name. I'm just saying it's kind of nice every time we get in the car. The Lyft driver looks at his phone in my profile and goes, um, hey, son. <sighs> Five stars, dad. <laughs> and then we don't talk for the whole ride and it feels really familiar, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't like Uber Pool because sometimes you get that one dude, a little too energetic, a little too excited to be there. You know what I'm talking about? He's got a backpack, a white dress shirt. Just comes in like, hey, how's everybody doing? Like, fuck. That, that's not how this works, asshole, all right? This is a car, but these are bus rules. You know what I mean? <laughs> thank you, thank you. I, uh, I'm, I'm in a relationship. Anybody in a relationship here? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just heard one sad lady in the shadows. Yay. <laughs> This is our night out. <laughs> it's going a Monday. <laughs> I guess I'm not a Friday girl. Um, I'm in a relationship now, which means uh, you know I recently uh, had some growth. I'm uh, not a big uh, not a big porn guy. Which is a lot easier than saying, ooh, I'm a big porn guy. Uh, <laughs> this is how you know you hit a rock bottom when it came to porn. I stopped watching porn because of this reason. Because after uh, I was masturbating and I finished, and then I started reading the porn comments on the videos. <laughs> That's not a good place in your life. When after you ejaculate, you start saying to yourself, hmm, now what do creeps think? <laughs> One guy wrote, I don't know, man. Her moaning seems kind of fake. Yeah, bro, she's also not really a nurse. <laughs> what do you want, authenticity? She's scared out of her mind. Leave her alone. <laughs> I am in a relationship. I've learned that women talk about the relationship way more than men do, right? Guys, keep that card close to the vest. Women talk about it. My girlfriend came up to me recently and was like, hey, I just told my mom you finally said I love you. I was like, wow, that reminds me I should tell my mom that I have a girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> you, your mom doesn't know you have a girlfriend yet? <laughs> no, okay. This date ends tonight. I, uh, <laughs> this is the thing, you're in a relationship and you learn new things every day, dude. Your vocabulary expands when you're in a relationship. You learn stuff from your partner all the time. For instance, went to a restaurant. I go, babe, what do you feel like eating? She looked at the menu, then looked at me and went, Honestly, I'm in the mood for some broccolini. I mean, honestly, people, I'm a dumb guy. I didn't know that was a word. I thought that was her nickname for broccoli. I thought she'd be cute. Like, oh my God, this Ecala, that's adorable. Well, maybe I'll get a hamburgerino. Maybe some ice cream he's after. Tried to get laid that night. Ooh, denido. Uh, I'll leave you guys with this. Did you know this? Broccolini. Look it up. You can see it in a restaurant. It's a man-made vegetable. Did you know that? It's a genetically modified splice between asparagus and broccoli. It was made in a lab in 93, right here in Los Angeles, which kind of makes sense. Because only in LA would someone look at broccoli and be like, mm, you should be taller and thinner. <laughs> Change your name, sound more ethnic. It'll fly in the restaurant scene. I've been Adel Seppi. Have a great night, everybody.